Welcome to the Syndicate program. Before we get started, we really want to thank you so much for joining our program. However you found us, whether it had been an ad on Facebook or YouTube, or maybe you were able to find our amazing podcast that we have weekly, but you found us and that's the most important thing. We know that you could have joined any of the many other gurus and joined their programs or their courses, but you chose us. For that, what we also want to dedicate to you guys is to give you the best uncompromised multifamily course in the industry and hopefully in the world. The things that we want to give you as far as our resources, our talent, uh, our combined experience, access to the deals that we do are just a few things that you will have access to when you join this program. So the objective of what are we doing here today? Well, you're going to learn about multifamily, but what we really want to do is we want to give you the resources, the tool, the information and share our experiences. So when you're done with our program, you can go out into the world and you can do your own deals. You will be a fully fledged syndicator. That means that you, if you don't want to, will never have to call us again, never have to use our investors, never have to come on a tour and walk a property with us. You will have all of your information and all of your own strength and confidence to go out and do it yourself. So what that means is we don't leave anything out. We don't want to. We're not bringing you in our world to leave you on the hook or put some kind of bait in front of you so you'll always call us for more information. Every year being part of what the community that you're surrounded by is to give you update information on legal, to give you updated information on what's going on in the multifamily space, and to make sure that you always have the tools going forward if need be. But you won't need that if you so choose not desire to, um, to stick in with the family. So our objective is basically to create you as a whole investor, kick you out, kick you out of the nest, so that way you can go on and do your own deals. But I do want to give you a warning. If someone brought you here to this video, to this course, and said, hey, there's a course that you can take, you can learn some information about real estate and multifamily, and you'll become a millionaire. Super easy to do. All you have to do is whatever the course says, and you'll make a lot of money. Part of that is true. You can create a significant amount of wealth, but what is not true, it is not easy. You're going to have to work very hard. You're going to have to make a lot of phone calls. You're going to have to work late night sometimes and get up early in the morning sometimes. But it is something that over time in the very near future will build a great passive income. That's something that I hope that you're ready for. That's why I'm here is to build a great passive income and to continue to build great passive income and buy amazing assets with my team as well. So if anybody told you come here and it was basically a get rich quick scheme, it is not that. You do have to work very hard, but what we do is we give you the information and the tools and the resources to fast track to become wealthier a lot faster. So we don't promise anything tomorrow. We also don't promise that you will be wealthy because if you don't do what, you know, some of the things that we ask you to do or some of the training that we're teaching you, you can't necessarily become successful. So the next thing is, what is this multifamily thing that we're talking about? What is a syndicator? So actually, our next chapter is the chapter on what is a syndication. But let me back up and also give you the information or the definition of what a multifamily is. So multi-units is different from the actual commercial definition of a commercial multifamily property. A commercial multifamily property is anything that has five units or more. If you have two units, which is a duplex, all the way up to four units, which can be called a quad, those are not commercial multi-real estate assets. And the reason that one unit, the transition between four units and five, is such a big deal is because your loan, loan programs start to look a little bit different. If you are buying a single family home or if you're buying a, a quadplex, those are different loan programs than if you're buying a 5, 10, or 100 unit multifamily asset. So first, understanding of what you're buying. There's nothing wrong with buying 
a quad. There's nothing wrong with house hacking and maybe staying in one unit and renting out the other three and bringing in income and then kind of scaling it up from there. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But what we are experts in is multifamily. We typically like to start at least around the 20 unit marks, but you don't have to. You can start at five units or eight units or 15 units. But what you'll begin to learn as we go further and further into the chapter is that the work that you have to do for a 50 unit or 100 unit or a 200 unit is about the same that you would have to do on a 10 unit. What changes? The numbers and the decimals and the, the commas behind the property, uh, the purchase price and the value of the property. But the work that you have to put into it, the amount of people that you have to call is just usually about the same amount of people and the amount of work that you have to put into a smaller property. So you start with what you feel comfortable or what you have the most access to. Always get the lowest hanging fruit, but always get the best deal. But those are things that we'll cover in, in later chapters and you'll get to understand once we give you the tools and information to know, hey, what should I look for in a deal? That will make you feel hopefully a little bit more comfortable with starting with a slightly bigger deal than you might currently feel. Or you might say, hey, you know what? No, I'm going to start with something very small um, in the beginning. And there is definitely nothing wrong with that. So now that you know what a multifamily property is, why do we get into multifamily property? Well, I got into it because it is something that you can pretty easily scale. If you look at any industry in the world and say, hey, what can I get into that the most people have become successful? It's been real estate. Everybody knows that real estate has created the most millionaires in the world, but why? Well, one, real estate is a lot more stable than stock. It is way more stable than crypto right now. Crypto might be an amazing product to buy or asset or an investment or you know however you necessarily want to categorize it but it is not the most stable product same thing with stock if you're doing any kind of day trading if you're going in for the long run that's a little bit different but if you're looking at the short term stock can be very volatile depending on what stock you pick multifamily and the real estate industry is very very stable it is very difficult to buy a product or a home or an apartment building for one price and then the next day it goes straight to zero meaning that it is not worth anything it can happen it had happened before in very rare circumstances but you typically have a lot of warning a lot of bells and lights that's going off that says hey your asset is slowly starting to decline you need to get out of this asset you don't have 30 seconds to hit a button or, or milliseconds to hit a button, you have a pretty good amount of time and you have a lot of people that will be surrounding you, our team, that can help you look for those indicators as well. So multifamily and real estate in general is a very safe asset and investment to get into. Uh, that is why it's one of the, the main things that investment bankers and you know if people are honest with you when you're investing your money, they tell you, hey, make sure you put some money into real estate so you can diversify your, your product. The second thing is tax benefits. So I'll start with single family because a lot of people watching this video and a lot of people taking the course are usually current investors that we found and they usually do single family rentals, which again, I have no problem with. I actually grew up doing single family rentals, but we'll talk about that a little bit more towards the end. The tax benefit with real estate products, as long as the IRS considers it to be an investment property. So if you buy something and you flip it, the government doesn't consider it an investment. They consider it more of a business. But if you hold that product long enough, then you move to a different category and it is now an investment and now you can start taking a depreciation of that real estate asset and applying it to your taxes. So in many, many cases and all the cases when we do deals that we look for a product where the income is great, the returns are great, but the depreciation also means that we don't have to pay any taxes on our cash flow. The same thing with a taxable event. We sell the property, we have this huge, amazing profit. Well, we have tax benefits in our industry that allow us to take that profit and roll it into the next deal. So there are many, many tax ways that you can 
shelter. We don't hide money. We do everything legally, but there are ways that you can put money in places so you don't have to pay the taxes on them. So why is this something that you may ne have never heard of before? Well, it's something that we call, or I call, the barrier to entry. So let's start very uh, far on the end of the scale, and that will be um, wholesaling. Wholesaling is uh, pretty easy to get into. The barrier to entry for wholesaling is a lot lower. It's not that it's non-existent, but it is a lot lower than other types of investments that you might you know, get into. Wholesaling, you might invest some money into mailers, you might be making a lot of phone calls, you might be doing what's called driving for dollars and going into different neighborhoods and trying to find any property that's dilapidated, that might be one way. The other way, you might be on the internet, but there are a lot of ways that you can break into the wholesaling industry that you can move up and let's look at single family rentals. Well, now you have to actually purchase a property and now you have to have a, more money, down payment money, maybe money to fix up the property. So that barrier to entry is a little bit higher. Going into multifamily, well, now you have to put down 20% and you're looking at a multi-million dollar building, how could I possibly come up with millions of dollars to put into a building? Well, I'm here to tell you that you don't need money. I'm here to tell you that you don't need credit. And that rich uncle that nobody seems to have, you don't need to call him either. What happens when you have none of these things going for you? I was very, very lucky and very blessed to be born into the real estate industry. So what I had was not a wrench uncle, but I had my dad and my grandparents who taught me a lot about real estate at a very young age. And then I learned from other mentors, but we'll teach you how to use basically OPM, other people's money, other people's credit. Most of you doing a deal will not be worth a hundred million dollars to qualify for the loan. So in later chapters, we'll explain how to look for people and have people actually call you, which is part of our branding chapter, and your investors will start calling you to say, hey, do you have any deals? I've seen your marketing and your branding, and I don't wanna to give too much away, but they'll call you and say, hey, I wanna put some money into your real estate fund or your syndication or whatever next deal you have. And we'll talk about that a little bit more, actually in two chapters, one, how to find investors, and two, uh, we will go in more detail um, in the marketing and branding part. So our course differs because, well, like every other course and every other guru, we hope that you know we really care about our members and our clients or our customers, whatever name you wanna put on it, we're gonna call you guys the syndicators. So the name of the program is the syndicate program. You are a syndicator. A syndicator is a person who takes uh, deals or finds deals and then goes to find money and then you put everything together. You put the financing together. So you, you are putting in the blood, sweat, equity to make the deal come together. So if you meet your rich uncle or if you meet uh, an investor and they, they want to put into your deal, they'll say, well, how much money are you putting into the deal? And why is it so important that you get my money? And how, how are you going to put all this together? And they say, you know, what's your background? Do you have a degree in this? Did you go to Harvard? You can say whatever the truth is. But the other side of that as well is, hey, I have a deal. I have a deal right now, and this deal is giving amazing returns. And nine times out of the 10, the investor says, hey, well, okay, you might not have went to school for this, but you seem very versed in what you're talking about. And I can see, hey, here's the apartment building right here. I can see it looks pretty full, and I can see the numbers that you're giving me. They, they look pretty good. Usually a deal wins over a degree. Helps to have both. We don't all can, you know, we're not all that, that lucky and blessed to have a, a deal and a degree. But if you do, you might want to join our team because we are always looking for amazing people. So we're different from, you know, joining the syndicate program. We're different from other uh, programs with other gurus. I don't consider myself a guru, but I do consider a lot of uh, uh, the other friends I have in the industry to be gurus. And some of them are doing deals every month. Some of them are doing one or two deals a year. And everybody's doing deals at different sizes um, at different times. So with us, 
you'll have our team, you'll have access to our attorneys, you'll have access to our CPA and our financial teams, you'll have access to all the software that we get to use and you'll really be able to see the behind the scenes of what go goes on in a syndication. And that is really, really important. We don't just give you a book and say, hey, here, learn this. This is how you raise capital and this is how you find a deal and this is how you close a deal. Those are very, very important. But what's also really, really important is that you see all the minute details that goes into the deal. How do you find the investors is great. And how do you market the deal and refinance the deal is great. But first, how should you have a call script written for the broker? Or is it the wholesaler? Should you look for a wholesaler first or a broker or should you just go directly to seller? And we give you the answer to all those things as well. So I keep going over and over that, you know, our course, we want to make it a lot different and not necessarily different. We just want to make it the best in the world because everything that I do, everything that I surround myself with, I try to make it as best as I absolutely can. And right before we end this and go into the second chapter, I want to tell you just a little bit about me. My name is Presley. I am the fourth. There are five of us. Um, he is a teenager. I have three kids and I've been married for, I just celebrated my 15 year anniversary and I've been with my wife for 20 years. So what are you getting into when you uh, come to the syndicate program? Well, one, you're getting me as one of the coaches and you'll see a little bit later the uh, few other coaches you'll get as well but you get a phone call once a week with the team and uh, the other students that are in the program. Um, I have been mentoring and coaching for over 15 years and I did not realize that and actually until I started putting this program together um, I've done a lot of ministry work and I've coached millionaires, I've coached billionaires, I've coached uh, royalty actually. Um, so I've been doing this for a very, very long time and I do it just because I have a passion. I don't do it for money. Our team actually doesn't do this for money. We actually don't do it to network. We do it because I was already doing it and it just made sense. The team said, hey, you're already on the phone with investors and you're already on the phone with, let's say, quote unquote, students teaching them how to buy multifamily, why don't we make this a little bit more structured, put a, put a course together and then be able to offer it to the world. What I love about our course is the majority of it is automated. You can rewind this video as many times as you want and you can go over the course information as much as you want. So, um, and you know, that's true with a lot of the other programs that and courses that you'll take, but we have set this program up where you have the interaction side with us being me and my partners in the team and then you also have access to all the digital information and the videos and uh, the other uh, bits of electronic data that we put together and offer to you so i really appreciate you guys joining um, I remember when I first, actually, I don't remember when I first got into multifamily. My grandparents owned two apartment buildings. Uh, the first one was a 13 unit and then two blocks down the street, they owned a 50 unit. And that was my christening of getting into real estate and multifamily. So I started working about the age of six and then I started learning carpentry about the age of six, kind of seven years old. So at the age of seven and eight years old, I was putting down floors and putting up drywall and sweating copper pipes. And I remember when I was eight, I laid a driveway in our 13 unit apartment building. I actually built all of this behind me and I built an art gallery on, on the other side. So I've been in the real estate thing for a very long time and it has given me the blessing and an opportunity to have a really sharp eye for all things real estate. So I'll end this. I appreciate you guys watching. You're going to see a whole lot more of me. This is the end of chapter one. Be prepared. Things are going to get really exciting. You are now a syndicator. Welcome to the syndication program. I'm sorry, the syndicate program, because remember, you are a syndicator and we are the syndicate. Let's go to chapter two, which is the syndication.